Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family and also go check out my Instagram. Today I have my Boxy Lux for December for you guys to unbox, but I did do it just like last month, so it's going to be kind of showing you guys all the products, giving you guys my first impressions on what I thought of each product. the look that I came up with with everything in my box but I do want to go over each product with you guys and let you guys know what I thought. There was a couple products that I did not try out today because I didn't really have a purpose for them at the time of starting this video pretty much. So um, all makeup products will be down below in the description box because some of them I did not even record like my foundation and stuff like that because this video would be a lot longer and there's really no point in adding it because I didn't get it in my Boxy Lux. I will have all Boxy Lux information down below in the description box as well because it is a three month subscription so you get it every three months kind of like seasonally like FabFitFun which by the way my FabFitFun is also up for the winter box. If you want to check it out I'll link it up above. It's actually on my vlog channel so you can go check that out there if you're into unboxing videos. I have Allure and I actually do have Ipsy this month too so more to that when that video comes. They will be coming to this channel very soon but let's go ahead and get into this. So starting off with this look, I don't know if you guys can see it displayed back here or not, but it is BoxyCharm Whimsy. So it's very whimsical, just, I love this box. It's a really good one. I will say that. Uh, BoxyCharm is $25 a month now, but Boxy Lux is $25 plus $28.99, I believe. I think. I don't know if that price changed too because BoxyCharm used to be 21, now it's 25, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's somewhere in that range. But the first product that I got is from Elemis, which already kind of won me over. I'm actually gonna grab this card so I can tell you guys prices and stuff. I'll have everything totaled up down below though. So um, I first used the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. I just patted this down into my skin first and a little bit goes a long way. It felt super runny, so I was like, oh, okay, this is gonna be like one of those more like watery essence. No, it is straight up oil, so keep that in mind. I'm hoping my foundation will like actually last because I have some last minute Christmas shopping to go do. <laughs> but um, yes, it definitely like oiled up my face. If you're super dry, you're gonna love this product. But it was nice. It does retail for $79. I don't know if I would ever spend that because it's such a small bottle for that. You do get 0.5 fluid ounces, so not too much. It actually says on the directions to massage three to four drops um, into your hands and then apply it to your face. So I think it would last a while, but it's very pricey in my opinion. But I have loved everything that I've tried from Elemis so far. And I'm so glad that BoxyCharm just keeps putting them into boxes because I am here for it. So with that, I also got the Cosmetics with an X on the end. This is the, I don't really know what this is called. Let me look. Facial Roller. So I have been eyeing Nurse Jamie, Nurse Jackie. I can't remember which one. Um, their roller that Tati always raves about. And this looks very identical to that. It is metal, so it's very cold to touch, but this top part kind of spins. Looks really funny, but it is really nice at really getting onto your face. I do have a clip of this that I'll go ahead and throw up now, but after I put the Elemis oil on my face, I went in with this to massage it into the skin very well, but this also does a little bit of, it's supposed to help over time of lifting, anti-aging properties and the coldness from the metal helps to depuff your face and that kind of thing too so I definitely get up underneath 
where my eyes are at, even a little bit on my eyelid um, to try to help depuff. So I can't remember off the top of my head how much the nurse, Jamie, Nurse Jackie, I wish I could remember which one it was, um, the roller for that one is. I knew it was pretty pricey too, but I've had my eye on it because I was like, I really want that. This one retails for $69 and I think it's close to about the same. It does come in like this box that was really nice and it's very heavy, like not super heavy, but sturdy enough to feel like really good quality. I'm super happy to have it. These next two products I want to get out of the way real quick because I did not use them today. So the first one is a hair like wrap towel. It's from Daily Concepts and it's just called the Daily Hair Towel Wrap. It retails for $18. I have one other one of these, I believe. Um, I think it came with like an order that I placed from Zoella Beauty on Ulta or something like that. I got like her body wash and with that purchase, I got the towel wrap. And it's really nice. You kind of just roll it up in your hair like you do a normal towel, but when you take the top part back, there's a button that you can kind of like wrap the rubber band around. That was awful explanation, but um, it looks like this one is about the same. So I'm super excited to have this because those are just so handy to have right after getting out of the shower. If you want to just not worry about your hair and get like your makeup and stuff like that done or get your skincare done before bed without your hair in the way, it's really nice. And it's a lot better than just like a regular towel because that button and like little um, rubber band thing will like keep it in place to where your hair is not like flopping out anyways. So it was really nice to get that, but I of course didn't have it to show you guys today. And then the other thing is a cleanser. I'm super excited to get this because I've actually tried this cleanser before. It was a deluxe sample size from Ipsy about a year or two ago. I can't even remember. You guys know I bounce around with cleansers so much. I'm actually going to be uploading a new video on a cleanser very soon. I'm actually going to be filming that video today. I just don't know when it'll go for you guys, but... This one is from Fresh. It's their soy face cleanser for all skin types. It's very gentle and that's what I love about this. If my skin was like flaring up around that time, this was so gentle on my skin. So good. And I love Fresh's products anyways. So this one does retail for $48. It is a little pricey full size. I think that kind of holds me back from buying it, but this does have five fluid ounces. It is a very big bottle. I will be doing a full video um, on this cleanser. I don't know if it'll be my next cleanser I use because I have a couple other on backup that I need to be using up next for my six week reviews, but one of them, like I said, I'm just now finishing, so I'm gonna be jumping into another cleanser. I'm not sure if I'll start that one or the other one I had in mind, um, but I will eventually do a video using it. Even though I've already used it before and I really liked it, I will do like a six week ordeal so you can see my skin before and after and see how everything went. Okay, so now back to some products that I did use. I then jumped into the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales palette, and this is just so adorable to me. I love their packaging. I love that it's like a book. I am really wanting to get like a bookshelf to put over here. You guys may not see it a whole lot. Maybe if I decide to start flipping things around to film with, but this would be so cute to put on a bookshelf. It's just... The packaging is always goals when I see their packaging. I love it, but I did try this out. I put it on my eyes. I am obsessed. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the video of me applying this, but it does open up like a book as well. And then you have these 12 shades right here, which are just beautiful. First impression wise, the mattes blended really, really good. And I didn't use too many shades. I used Spindle, which is kind of like a light baby pink shade. I used that into my crease and then I honestly just blew it out and just put it all over my lid too. And then I was just drawn in by the Enchanted Light Gold shade. I thought it would be so beautiful with Spindle. So I patted that down in the center of my lid and then I put more Spindle um, kind of like a halo effect, so more spindle on the inner part and then the outer part of my eye. Super simple, but I just love this look so much. I think it is so pretty. 
Um, from there, I kind of moved on and did my foundation and all that kind of stuff. I did use my highlighter today, which is the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter. This is the Nikki Tutorials Everglow. I just use these two lighter ones, but I did use this on my brow bone and very inner corner today because the only like really light metallic in this is either Enchanted, which I used on my lid and it's pretty gold for my skin, or this bright silver, which I knew would clash. So I did use my highlighter for that. My lower lash line, I used Briar Rose, which is a little bit more peachy, and that really helped like add another pop to this look to draw more attention to my eyes. I really like that. The inner part of my lower lash line, I, like I said, I have the Ofra one on my inner corner. I didn't film that, but I do have that there. But right through here on my eye, I actually have this highlighter from Ciate London down. So I'm gonna kind of bounce back and forth between this and the palette, a little confusing, but I use this highlighter just right there because once swatched, this is really pretty. It's called Confetti from Ciate London. It's beautiful, but like once you run your brush or your finger through it, it's kind of like a goldy bronze. Too dark for my skin personally. So like I said, I use the Nikki Tutorials and Ofra one for my face and for like my brow bone and inner corner. I use that lightly right through here today. It's really pretty. I think I could pull it off more so um, with fake tan or something like that in the summertime, maybe like even as a body glow on my shoulders, something like that. It's super pretty. I love the packaging and all that. It does feel kind of, I mean, it is plastic, so it doesn't feel very heavy. Um, I don't think like the packaging is all that great. I think the actual look of it is really pretty. And the actual product I think looks really pretty being confetti and looking like that. That does retail for $32 and the packaging on it was really nice too. I do love Ciate London though. I'm not coming for them. Back to the palette. The metallics also applied very well. I just used the one on my lid but it is beautiful. I do plan to do a full four look one palette with this. I've been doing that lately with all my palettes. I hope you guys are enjoying them, but I do plan to do this. I hope this palette is available, not an exclusive, but I'm pretty sure it is available on their site. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, it is because I really want to do a four looks with this. And since I did one with my Dominique Cosmetics, I might as well do one with this since that one's not really available. But this does retail for... $55. It is a lot more pricier, but I am really excited to try it because I've been eyeing a lot of their palettes, especially the Burn Book. Really want to get my hands on that one. Yeah, like I said, I will be doing a four looks. This will be the first look, of course, but I'll do a video where I put this look and three others together for you guys to kind of just let you guys know my thoughts and a review and to show you guys four different looks with this palette. For my setting spray today, I tried this one out here, which I didn't want to use too much of it, but the spray was a little strange for me. This is from N Beauty Power Up Dual Phase Setting Face Mist, and it's supposed to be an energizing face mist for a pick-me-up throughout the day, the night. You could use it as like a skincare type ordeal, or you can use it to set your makeup. So that's what I did. Like I said, I wanted to go light with it because after that oil, I was like, I don't want to be super, super dewy than what I already was. But the sprayer was a little weird. I can say that. Like it just kind of sprays really weird, almost like it just shoots like that. So like when you're putting it in your face and you're expecting it to go in your face, it kind of like goes around your face almost. So I ended up using like a good amount from just the top for one look to make sure I had my whole face uh, damp with it. But it's a product I'll have to keep trying out. So far, I'm not hating it. It has like a light scent to it that's not bad, but I love the packaging. I think it looks really cool. And it retails for $32. I've never heard of In Beauty, but I am excited to keep trying this out. For my lips today, I did do a shot of this product. This is from Too Faced, 
It is their Rich and Dazzling Lip Gloss. I've never tried a lip gloss from Too Faced before. I've tried like their latex lips, but not a lip gloss. This one is super pretty, outside of my comfort zone. It's a bright, sparkly Mean Girls hot pink. Not really something that I reach for a whole lot. I did do a clip with just this on and you can kind of see, but I applied it very lightly there and I still wasn't really liking it with this look. So then I took it off and I applied this Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in the shade Beach Bum from her summer collection. I love this. It's like a pinky nude and that's what I kind of wanted to have going on with this eye look. And then I decided to pop some of this on top of it and you can see I was a little confused because literally it made my lips glossy but like the sparkle is completely gone. Like the sparkle just like went un up underneath the lipstick and it's gone. Like it's not there, it doesn't look sparkly. It just looks glossy. So if you want the sparkle effect, you're gonna have to wear it without anything else. I mean, maybe a lip liner, I don't know. But I mean, typically people use lip gloss without anything anyways, but I thought it'd be a really pretty topper. Obviously it does not work well with lipsticks because the glitter just disappears. <laughs> That does retail for $21, and then the very last product is from M Green Grass. It is a dry oil spray, Beach Air, I guess is like the scent. I was really confused with this product because I just didn't know what it was for, but then after reading about it, the fragrance is Beach Air. It is inspired by Grease, and it's a multi-use spray for your body, your face, and your hair. So it can be a skincare product for your face, it can be a perfume, or it could be an oil for your hair, and that's what I did today. I sprayed some into my hands and rubbed my hands together. It is definitely a dry oil. It's not something that left my hair super oily. I think the scent is nice. It's nothing crazy. It smells very fresh, and I just put it in the bottom of my hair. Don't really see too much of a difference, but the scent is really nice. And this does retail for $36, another brand that I've never really heard of before, but I will keep trying this out, and I do like the fresh scent of it. And that is everything for my Boxy Lux. I believe I've went through all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, every detail I mentioned will be down below in the description box for you guys to make things a little bit easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see those clips sped up a little bit faster, go check out my Instagram because I will be posting a more sped up with just those clips there if you would like to check it out for my boxy charm. Like I said, more subscriptions are coming and let me know what you guys got in your boxy charm or boxy lux or boxy premium. I think is what it's called, but let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you in my next video.